We're about to wrap up things here at the red carpet at Global Citizen Festival Mandela 100. And we're joined by someone who was super important in this world, a man who was doing work that can actually not be put into complete words because of how important it is. But Alexander de Croix, the Prime Minister of Belgium. Alexander, I'm going to ask you, as an all-woman crew from 947, can you finish off the sentence for me? She is... Equal. That is it. Alexander, you are a man who is fighting for women's rights all around the world. Why is it so dear to your heart? Because um, why would we just throw away the talents of half of our population? Mm. We have so many talented girls who, instead of being able to go to school, get pregnant at the age of 12, uh, have six, seven children, remain in a situation of dependency. I never can realize the potential they wanted to have in their in their lives. Now, that is not a good for, thing for the girls. It's not a good thing for men either. We have so many needs. Why would we throw away half of our prosperity? And that is what I want to explain to men, is that feminism is seen as a topic that is about women and only to be discussed amongst women. That is wrong. I mean, we are as involved as we are. Feminism is about equal opportunity for women and men. So if we want to get this moving, we will have to get together and men have to play a role in it. Yes, most definitely. And I also want to know when it came to the Global Citizen Festival Mandela 100, why was it a no-brainer for you to be part of it? Uh, totally no-brainer because obviously we, we admire Nelson Mandela, who he was and what he stands for. Also because the She is Equal campaign actually was launched six months ago in Brussels, in Belgium. And we worked hard with Global Citizen to make it uh, to make it happen. And so bring it all together here in this amazing stadium and this amazing crowd. I've never seen a crowd like this. So enthusiastic, so supportive. Yeah, this this I I, I will never forget this moment. Oh man! So you're absolutely loving Joburg. I I love Johannesburg. I've been here just one night. <laughs> I might have to come back. That was two nights in Cape Town. Cape Town was nice as well. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, maybe I'd have to come back okay. after this. Yeah. We're saying please do come back. But just one last question. Who are you looking forward to seeing most on the stage at Global Citizen Festival Mandela 100? Huh. I think the combination of Beyonce and Jay-Z is, is kind of amazing. Yeah. Um, and I mean, look at the lineup you have here. You have Chris Martin, Phil Williams, Ed Sheeran, Bob Geldof. I mean, all these people came here um, because they believe in what, what, this, uh, what this stands for, uh, because of the legacy of Nelson Mandela, but also because um, what Global Citizen says is that we're all neighbors one of another. And I'm not going to live a happy life if people around me are living an unhappy life. Now, you might live very far away from me, but in the world of today, we're neighbors. And so if we want to get things moving, each one of us can do something. Yeah. And what we do has an impact on our immediate neighbors, but also on people who are farther away. And, and, and I love that. I think uh, globalization is an amazing thing. It brings us together. It has halved poverty over the last years. Child mortality has been halved over the last 20 years. I mean, the, the progress is there. Mm. Why would we stop halfway? Yes. Let's finish it. Let's go all the way to 2030. Exactly. I'm going to come find you in Jay-Z and Beyonce on stage. That's great. Awesome. Right. Thank you so Thank much, you. Alexander. Bye -bye. Thank you.